In this lecture, we're going to learn about logical equivalence. Consider the compound statement, grass is green or snow is white. This statement has the same truth value as the statement snow is white or grass is green. The logical form of grass is green or snow is white is P or Q. The logical form of snow is white or grass is green is Q or P. The truth value of P or Q is the same as the truth value of Q or P, no matter what the truth values of P and Q are. We can see this by looking at the truth table for P or Q and Q or P. Okay, here is the truth table. Notice that the column for P or Q has T, 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 F, and the column for Q or P is the same thing, T, 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 F. Okay, so Let's see. When two statement forms have the same truth values for each possible combination of truth values for the constituent statement variables, then the statement forms are said to be logically equivalent. If P and Q, P and Q are two logically equivalent statement forms, then we write it as this. Okay, let's do an example. show that not not p is logically equivalent to p okay let's form the truth table um, here we have p it can either be t or f now let's find the truth values for not p okay this is f since that's just the opposite of t and here we have t the opposite of F. Now we want to look at not not P. So we look at the column for not P and then we take the opposite truth value. So that's T and here that's F. Okay now look at the column for not not P and the column for P. Notice they're the same. It's just T and F. T and F. So therefore, not not P is logically equivalent to P. Okay, let's do another example. Show that not P or Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. To do this, we'll just look at the truth tables. So here we made a table for not P or Q, and here we have a table for not P and not Q. 
Okay, so we filled out the truth values for P and Q here. So let's start filling out the truth values for P or Q. Okay, here we have T. Here P is true, so this is true. Here Q is true, so we get a T. Now here P and Q are both false, so we get false. Now let's look at not P or Q. We look at the column for P or Q and then just take the opposite truth value. Okay, now let's look down here. Let's first find the truth values for not P. Okay, look at P, take the opposite truth values. And for not Q, look at the column for Q, take the opposite truth values. And for not P and not Q, we look at the columns for not P and not Q, and we make sure that they're both true. So here, since we have F and F, we get F. Here, not P is false, so we get false. Here, not Q is false, so this is false. And finally, here we get true and true, so this is true. Okay, now comparing the columns for not P or Q and the column for not P and not Q, notice we get F, 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 T, and here we have F, 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 T, so they're the same, and therefore these two are logically equivalent. Okay, let's do another example. Show that P arrow Q is logically equivalent to not P or Q. Okay, so we form the truth table for P arrow Q. And the, arrow, um, the truth table for not P or Q. Okay, so let's start filling in this table. Now I have the truth values already filled out for P and Q. Okay so P arrow Q. The only time that this is false is when P is true and Q is false. So that's um, here in the second row. So this will be false and every other case P arrow Q is true. Okay, now let's move to this second table. Not P, let's look at the column for P. Just take the opposite truth values. Okay, now for not P or Q, we look at the columns for not P and Q, and we make sure that one of these is true. Okay, so that's true. This is false. Here, one of them is true. Okay, so that's true. And the last row, one of them is true. Okay. So comparing this column for P arrow Q and this column for not P or Q, notice we have the same truth values. T, F, T, 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 F, T, T. Okay. Um, 
let's go back here a little bit. Now, the fact that not P or Q is logically equivalent to not P and not Q in our earlier example, that is one of De Morgan's laws. Okay, and the second De Morgan's law is not P and Q is logically equivalent to not P or not Q. Okay, so notice here the negation symbol distributes to P and Q and it switches that OR to an AND. And here this negation symbol distributes to P and Q but it switches the AND to an OR. Okay, these two are called De Morgan's laws. Let's do another example show that not p arrow q is not logically equivalent to not p arrow not q. Okay, so we have the truth tables for not p arrow q and not p arrow not q. Okay, I filled out the truth values for p and q. Let's start filling in the truth values for the rest of this table. So for p arrow q, I look here, p is true and q is true. So this is true. p is true and q is false. So this is false. Here, p is false. So this is true. And here, p is false. So this is true. Now for the negation of P arrow Q, we just look at the column for P arrow Q and take the opposite truth values. Okay, let's move on to the next table. Not P, we look at P, just take the opposite truth values. Same for not Q, we look at Q, take the opposite truth values. And for not P arrow not Q, we look at the truth values for not P and not Q. Here not P is F, so this is true. Not P is F here, so this is true not p is true but not q is false so this is false and finally not p is true and not q is true so this is true okay if we compare the columns for not p arrow q and not p arrow not q okay we see that they're different um, if you look at the first and the fourth rows you'll see that the truth values are different, okay? So therefore, not P arrow Q is not logically equivalent to not P arrow not Q.